<laughs> You're a very lucky man. So lucky. <laughs> Happy Halloween! <laughs> you didn't think I'd let you finish 31 Days of Horror without the sheet mask. Hi guys, it's Halloween! <laughs> You're a very lucky man. So lucky. <laughs> okay guys, we just finished Insectula. What year? 2017. 17. Um, I actually had to get Amazon Prime. We have Amazon Prime in Australia now. Um, to watch this so if you want to find it that's where it is should we get into what's it about um yeah do you want to explain it um oh it's kind of hard to explain you kind of don't need to explain it <laughs> it, it, it kind of explains itself but like a giant obviously insect comes to earth um to wreak havoc and then uh, like this really seedy guy has all these side bitches and that starts killing them and he and he works with the I know, some high level government department. He thinks he's like bigger than the FBI. Yeah, yeah. And, and then, yeah. And then yeah. he's like working with a scientist and then the scientist has like this whole side plot and then the scientist starts like helping this insect. Yeah, it's, it's weird. <laughs> it just, it was like, it was kind of cool to start with. Like kind of, when I say kind of cool, like cheesy as all hell and just crap, but like interesting. But it just went for way too long. It was like 40 minutes to an hour too long. So much of it just could have been cut out and it could have been like a really fun, fast paced, stupid movie. But it just loses you so much. And like, this is from someone that likes to watch sort of like degrade shitty or movies. really shitty movies. <laughs> like. uh, I would say it was a very interesting movie in a couple of respects. Um, one, it took a lot of influence from um, some surrealist horror, especially the tingler I felt like, like they had the centipede or as a millipede at one point and they had like the coloring the exact same as like when he's having that trip out um so i thought that was really interesting um there's a lot of actors so there's like a lot of different scenes and in a movie like this it's quite strange because usually it's slow but it's slow in the way that um everything takes too long to happen this film wasn't slow in that way it was long but it was long because there was so many extra like scenes and things throughout it and so many actors like it just kept changing from scene to scene to scene with new actors every time so which was really interesting i think the cast was really long um which was strange it did have like those funny moments where you know they had cheesy lines someone screaming no but in a weird way yeah, or, it, yeah that was your favorite, favorite one was like no it was another one and it was just like i'm not a hero I'm a man. Yeah. So it did have those shitty fun lines. Yeah. But at the same time, the rest of it was just so awkward and weird. And it's it's hard when you're dragged along for an hour and 40 minutes. Like you're waiting for a story at least to join it together. But the story never came in like, or made sense. So it was kind of like a really long drag. <laughs> Obviously, this film has a lot of CGI. Like it's based on CGI. Um, but I think overall, the most confusing thing about it is the tone. The tone's fucking confusing. You're not sure if you should be laughing or cringing. Um, what are you going to give it? I'm tossing up to a three and a four out of ten. Really? Fuck, I'm going to give it a one. <laughs> um, I know that I gave like Street Trash a really shitty review last year, but this is bad for all different reasons. And I find that throughout my 31 Days of Horror, I keep going, is this film like that film? But Sometimes films are different subgenres, and that's fine. This was better than Replace. You think this is better than Replace? Yeah. This didn't have Barbara Crampton in it. No, this had a giant flying insect that was killing the world. Okay. Well, that's where you and I differ. Yes, it is. Anyway, guys, this is the end of 31 Days of Horror. Sorry to end on an anticlimactic moment. But um, thank you so much for being here with me, supporting me morally. Obviously, I'm breaking down. I'm ready to chill. If you guys didn't know, I'm taking off. So I'm, I'm taking off this Friday, which normally I would have a video up, but I figure I've given you three videos this week. 
and I'm gonna actually take next Monday off because I want to have the weekend to just chill and not worry about filming and editing for Monday so if that's alright with you guys I'm doing it anyway <laughs> I'm just gonna take that time off and during that time I will finally get to watch some of the movies you guys have been hounding me about the TV shows I gotta get back on my Netflix um, so I'll be back next Friday and I will have a wrap-up um, it probably will be next Friday with um, the top 10 you know best most original you know all the kind of stuff from my 31 days of horror so if you didn't watch all of my 31 days and you do want like a nice list i'm going to give it to you in easy an easy form so bring your pad and your pen um and we'll definitely do that then but d and i have plans we need to take this face mask off and get ready to go see halloween 2018 tonight. I'm so excited. I'm pretty excited to see that, but I have seen some spoilers. When you leave a movie this long, sometimes it's bound to happen. Should be a good way to celebrate Halloween. Well, I've never seen the original Halloween, I don't think. Or maybe I I've think seen you have. I've seen maybe little parts of it. And not, I God, I'm going to have a heart attack. I've seen the Rob Zombie versions. <laughs> You're going to give them a heart attack now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say that to these people. They'll kill you. Anyway. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting me. I'm going to go rest. I'm going to go crawl into a cocoon and die for a little bit. But I'll be back and I'll see you guys then. Thank you again. Bye. Rob Zombie for life. <laughs> <laughs>